Miss Fisher again, reading another story. No, you didn't ask for it. No, you probably don't care. But I'm going to do it anyways because just like my real classroom, this is my classroom. So I do what I want. Sorry, guys. Anyways, this book is called Chrysanthemum. I love this book. It's about a little mouse who learns to love herself. And everybody learns to love her because she's a really cool mouse girl. Because I can't really say she's a girl girl because she's a mouse. Anyways, this is Chrysanthemum. I love this book. Uh, I think it's really cool that it looks into, like, loving who you are as you are. And all of you guys are great, so I hope you enjoy it. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' life. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum? 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 Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it on wrote it with her big fat orange crayon chrysanthemum 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 thought her name was absolutely perfect and then she started school on the first day chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her biggest smile she ran all the way to school hooray said chrysanthemum school but then mrs chud took roll call and everyone giggled upon hearing chrysanthemum's name so there's the different names. You've got like a Bill, a Pat, a Tom, a Rita, a Louie, an Al, Eve. It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm, a f I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Mrs. Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the whole alphabet, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. So what do you guys think about Victoria? Is she being very nice to Chrysanthemum? Is she being respectful? Um, how do you think Chris, um, Victoria would feel if people were talking to her about how she's talking about Chrysanthemum? If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said her said, ugh, sorry guys. Oh, pish, said her mother. Your name is beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. And it's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. So after spending the day at school with Victoria talking about her name, how is Chrysanthemum feeling? How would you feel if somebody had talked to you about your name the way that Victoria was talking about Chrysanthemum's name? Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup, and an evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream.
The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria, as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, A chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, said Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. I cannot believe your name, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower. They pretended to pick and smell me. Oh, pish, said her mother. They are just jealous and envious and begrudgingly and disgusting. Countedly and jaundiced, said her father, who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said father. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream, buttercream frosting, and another evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. That's why it's really important to think about what you say and how it affects others because Chrysanthemum's obviously not feeling too happy right now. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a Chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and the petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She, lo she loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum, the flowers seemed to say. Although I love her outfit with seven pockets. I wish I had an outfit with seven pockets. That morning, the students were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. Mrs. Twinkle led the students in scales, then she assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as the Dainty Fairy Queen, Rita was chosen as the Spiffy Butterfly Princess, and Joe was chosen as the All Important Pixie Messenger, and Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum's a daisy! Chrysanthemum's a daisy! Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous? asked Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. What do you think Mrs. Twinkle's going to think about all this? What do you think she might say? Um, think about what Miss Fisher might say if somebody was saying something like that to another classroom. My name is Long, said Mrs. Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. 
You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is Delphinium, Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby's a girl, I'm considering Chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed, she beamed, she bloomed. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. So, Mrs. Twinkle, just like Miss, uh, I'm so sorry, can't talk today. Anyways, Mrs. Twinkle is just like Chrysanthemum. They have very long names, and they're both named after flowers, and they're both pretty cool in my book. Not just this book, like me, yes, I'm thinking. All right, Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. So these are all different flowers. They're all asking to be named after different flowers now because they all like Mrs. Twinkle, and they're all now very jealous of Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. So it says epilogue in the back. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny, and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Well, that's not very nice, but... Mm. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl, and of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. All right, so point of the story, what you say to others can really affect them. So really think about how you talk to others and what you say about them. And just, you know, overall be very respectful. And second thing, um, you guys are great and there's you're amazing. I don't know what else to say. Well, thanks for listening to my very long video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And that was Chrysanthemum. And I hope to see you all soon. And I hope you guys check out some more videos on this channel. All right. Bye.